King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer, Buckingham Palace announced in a statement on Monday. A shock statement certainly and this is not what people had been expecting or uh, in the least uh, suspecting. The King had received treatment a week ago in a hospital in London for an enlarged prostate. He was in hospital very briefly and discharged and he was seen leaving the hospital are smiling and in good shape but this now has turned out to be an unexpected announcement this the palace points out is not related to the treatment for enlarged prostate and the palace says that this condition was seen and spotted during the course of that treatment but is not related to it and the palace has been emphatic in pointing out that this is not prostate cancer the palace says treatment for this has begun already. It began on Monday. The king will be taking regular treatment as an outpatient at a London centre and the palace has appealed for respect for his privacy as he goes about seeking the treatment that is being um, handed out and is being planned out uh, for the king. The palace has also said that a number of the king's engagements due over the next few days will inevitably be postponed and uh, the palace says the king apologized to all those who would be disappointed or inconvenienced as a result but the palace says the king will be continuing with a number of his duties and that will include signing papers and uh, considering matters that are brought to him matters other that than an interface uh, with the public that is not likely in the near future as he seeks his treatment. In the meanwhile, uh, the palace says Her Majesty the Queen will be continuing with her regular course of public engagements. Clearly, this is not a time for estrangements among those who have been estranged. Prince Harry spoke with the King on Monday and is due in London very shortly to meet with the King. Prime Minister Richard Sunak has wished the King good health and a speedy recovery as has leader of the opposition here Starmer and people around the country and certainly people not just in Britain but around the world are joining together in wishing the king good health and a speedy recovery. Mm -hmm.